first our appreciate you holding this hearing i appreciate uh, cooperation uh, with minority on witnesses uh, and i appreciate the willingness to uh, to take an honest and fresh look at this issue when i was chairman of this committee we passed the uh, Energy Policy Act of 2005. It was an open bipartisan process in this committee, in the House, in the Senate, and in the conference committee. We had open conference committee hearings and markups in this very room. There's a renewable fuel standard in that act. Uh, for this year, the renewable fuel standard is 5.4 billion gallons, and it, ri it rises to an estimated 8.6 billion gallons over time. Under the legislation that was signed into law this past December, we have a new biofuel mandate. It's 9 billion gallons this year. It cannot be met. There's not enough biofuel in the country to meet it. I think that's probably one of the reasons we're holding this hearing. Nobody likes to see food prices skyrocketing like they're skyrocketing. Nobody likes to see our U.S. domestic fertilizer capacity cut in half and half our fertilizer plants being shut down. You know, nobody on either side of the aisle likes the uh, unintended consequences of what the proponents passed last December with the best of intentions. I'm going to be introducing a piece of legislation, Mr. Chairman, this week to... Uh, repeal section 202 of last year's energy act and just go back to the previous biofuel mandate in the 2005 act now that's not a perfect solution and it may not be acceptable uh, but at least it's doable there are other things that can be done we're going to hear about some of those things today um, and one of the things that can be done is obviously to do nothing if we do nothing, we're, we're going to have the chaos that we have right now, and it'll just be political finger pointing. So, Mr. Chairman, I do hope that uh, uh, the aftermath of this hearing is as positive as the lead up to it, and that we do work together. And if there is a, a solution that's acceptable to the biofuels community and to the farm community and to the food producing community and to the consumers and all the various environmental groups, that we can come together and, and find that, that, that balance point. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.